That man. Oh yes, we are on our way to Gridgate. Hello and welcome back to Cudbud's Galen. Welcome, welcome back, Cudbud. Aaron, big Cud simple. Yeah. What do I? What a... Otherwise known as Killer Monkey Art. I gotta, I gotta make sure I give you a, a shout out. I gotta. Yeah. Uh, you get your residuals or, are in the mail. Or just Killer Monkey on Twitch, sure, but spelled wrong. All right, I'll make sure. Don't that spell all it of right. You, spell it wrong, everyone. All of your, all of your uh, affiliate links will be in the uh, description, including your Amazon links will be down affiliate. in the description. All right, so we're on our way to Gridgate. This is a spicy road, as you have seen. I died. You did die. Um, I died so much. It's uh, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Cud can be a bastard sometimes. I've died plenty. Especially on my on my trip to Gritgate, it's like it's scary. It's actually scary sometimes. But anyway, um, have we looked in that chest yet? Uh, we didn't know about its existence until I until took a little step out of the danger zone moments ago. Yeah, right. I can have a look at that. The uh, one thing I will caution you of is that um, stairs are a wonderful tool for creating a bottleneck so that you only have to fight one creature at a time. So if we want the a very easy method of fighting everything, then stairs are our friend. Okay. Um, I'm going to go look at that box, though. Go look at the box. Let's do it. You do have many friends on the screen, so, you know, you shouldn't be too worried. You are looking at that. Wow. We have... All right. That, Why a rubber gum injector? The rubber gum injector is good. It's a good find. The burnt capacitor is also pretty good. I would like that, please. I would like that, please. You can take the vine wafer as well if you want. I do. All right. I wouldn't recommend taking the battle axe. You never want me to carry 200 pounds worth of random equipment. <laughs> Well, I do, just, you know, good random equipment. Also, we should check out what that water skin is. That could be good. It's broken, if I oh, recall. Oh, right, right, right. I remember. Was that blood there before? It was there. I did not notice that there's a slug. That uh, it's a bullet. Yeah. You have taken the lead slug. Are bullets good? Bullets are good. Um, you'll probably want to use a gun uh, later. Yeah. Are, are you not all... You're using a bow still, right? I am. You will want to switch to a rifle in the future. I think that's your last boom rose arrow. Boom rows are pretty fun early game. They're like one of the few grenades you can fire at uh, at people, at enemies. Everyone out there seems like they're doing their own thing. Yeah, we could wait for a bit to see uh, see how the the screen kind of sifts out. You know, like shake a, shake the sift. Mm, I can't rest though. You cannot rest. You could. Um, if I go back here. Yeah, you could go back there. Unfortunately, that's that tick is still visible. Yeah. You can just hit uh, numpad five a few times so that they move out of line of sight. There we go. Oh, he got smooshed by something. Yep. You should be able to rest now. Oh, you're good. Nice. Solid. Excellent. And forward we march. Right. So yeah, don't worry about the robots. They're, these ones are your friend. Future ones will... Oh, there is a bear. Yeah, the bear has uh, caught wind of you. You miss? 
You missed again. Hmm. There hey. you go. That was a good crit, too. Nice. The bear He's seems to be... Uh, running away. Yeah, he seems to be more interested in maybe fighting that robot. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. Yep. It's fine. You have, like, the ultimate weapon right now. It's ultimate not, power. It's not... Ooh, oh, wait. I was looking at the log and saw your painted nanomatic jackhammer. I was like, ooh, something is painted. But it's just your thing. I don't want a bear corpse. You don't want a bear corpse. That's true. That is correct. You can. <laughs> so. I'm gonna eat them. Uh, do you want to? Do you want a freebie achievement right now? It's is a, it eat a bear. It is actually eat a bear. Um, you can't do it right now. You have to be starving to do it. But you can. Uh, you can wait that out. It means waiting like twelve hundred turns. No, I'll just drop. Them. Yeah. I I do love that achievement though. The uh, the subtext on the achievement is just eat a bear. Just eat an entire bear. <laughs> I wanna wanna look at the brown thing. Uh you can unlock your look so that you can highlight things. That is uh probably some clothing. I think it's still locked. You got <laughs> you gotta hit F one. <laughs> There you go. Chainmail? What the heck? That's not chainmail. There's multiple things on that tile. Chainmail is very, very good. I think it's actually better than what you're wearing. Might be. Might be slightly better. I believe you are wearing studded leather, which could be 3 AV minus 2 DV. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Yeah, it's one of my few complaints is that there's not really an easy way of comparing armor. You'll probably just want to go to your inventory if you want to see the studded leather. I I have a feeling that the chainmail is better though. Yeah, it is. Only marginally. It gives you one extra DV, but uh, still, it's worth it. I guess you're only at 2 DV with the chainmail. You are wearing quite a lot of armor. Your AV right now is actually very, very good for this early in the game. Uh, sword you don't want me to get? Probably not, no. Okay. There's another uh, there's... chest open. Oh. Ooh, and some, and a uh, thing. That is a circuit bent metal sheet. Passed by an eyeless corpse. Crab corpse. Classic. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Well, okay. There is an easier way of doing this. And yet... You can take all on that. I will. The shotgun shell it weighs nothing. So now we can explore further if you want, or uh, we want to head down. Probably, I think we need to get down two more levels before we get to Great Gate. It feels like the robots cleaned up everything, so I'm just going to take a quick little. I guess there's a third chest. You could you could auto oh god. That is such horrible luck. That is such horrible luck. You might, yeah, okay. The, the robots killed them. Yeah, the way droids were right next to him, so that that is the lucky part. But seeing a novice of the sightless way, like from that distance, immediately getting burrowed right away is one of the worst things that can happen on your path to Grit Gate. We got. We got tons of centipedes over here. This is a good way of getting uh, a little bit of extra XP. Okay, remind me what what look. Just look at everything down. Um, plus and minus on the numpad. That's not when when you're in look look mode. Yeah, there you right. go. 
Leather boots. Your magnetized boots. Hello. What? The steel warhammer might actually be better. Mm, maybe not. I think your pneumatic jackhammer is two d four. We're getting there. That's uh, that's almost better. Yeah, two d four. It is two d four. The thing that is uh, not exactly intuitive about Cud, but like, the damage is um. It's not a very good representation of how much damage you actually do because uh, penetration is actually a better representation of how much damage you do rather than the raw damage of the weapon. Because, like, if you have enough penetration to pen uh, an enemy multiple times, you do multiple sets of damage. Um, and that's why you get, like, those criticals, like... If you look at the um, the right side, the log, it says like you hit times eleven for thirty seven damage with your nano pneumatic jackhammer. That's because you pen something like several times and did a ridiculous amount of amount of damage. Uh, unsolicited, uh, you know, information about how damage in Caves of Cud works, but pen is more valuable than damage. Is really the takeaway. You could, uh, I guess you could like, you could have like a dagger that does like one damage, just 1d2 or something like that. But if it had like infinite pen, then it would be the most powerful weapon. Ooh, we've got your first Knights of the Templar. Templar Squire. Uh, and he's fine? Um, he is neutral to you right now. I believe you are a true kin. Yeah. Yes. If you are a mutant, then he would be aggressive. But the Templar are cool with true kin. Right. I'm back. Oof. Lots of things on this screen. Tons of things. Oh, you're you're you might want to back up a little bit. Y you are you are doubling down. Oh god okay um you're gonna want to be very careful here so that red pig to your right there is one of the most dangerous early game ranged uh creatures in cud it's called a red slug what? snout oh the slug snout the slug snout Slug now, um, it's a pun. Uh, Cut is kind of rich with puns. Um, remember, you you already picked up a slug, right? Mm -hmm. And so basically, the slug now is uh, a pig with a shotgun. <laughs> hey. So you you want to move north and get out of range of vision of that slug now immediately. What? How did I get here? Um. So you remember uh, the Templar? Yes. Uh, he had a little droid following him around, which is called an Inquisitor, I believe. Or, sorry, Infiltrator. Um, the Infiltrator was not neutral to you, despite the fact that it was uh, a friendly of the Templar. And they have an ability where they just uh, teleport you somewhere random. You, you really don't want to pick a ranged fight with a Slug Snout. Especially <laughs> the hermit is actually friends to you. I think you may have even shot it. Okay, no, you're good. The The play here is to make sure that you are in melee range to the slug snout because then you can actually take them out. Um, so you want to you wanna wait here so that they are forced to walk up to you. I, I, I appreciate your gusto, but 100% the slug snout will... will blow you away from range yep this is this is good i mean it, it's a win-win for you because if you don't, you don't see them right away you're still gaining your health back yep yep we're just waiting we're chilling we're cool we're we're we're, we're very cool We 
We're just we're we're waiting. I think he's dead. I wouldn't bet on that, but you can take a peek. Now that you're at full health, you could probably take one shot from a slug now. Oh, you you are correct. I don't know if there was a way droid around here, but there might have been, and that might have been what. Uh, there's a lot of things on the ground. You're definitely going to want to pick all of that up. You can do a, um, a auto explore and your character will automatically pick up all those good bits. Uh, at least until there is something dangerous on the screen. But you're good. Um, I don't think we're seeing anything dangerous. Just the way droids. But they're not dangerous they're your friends can you give me a second actually before uh let me let me just close my i'm gonna do a beep here just just close your close your thing i did a beep so i can uh cut that out all right Brackish oil. Oil is actually um, a very, uh, it's a good l fluid if we can get some, but unfortunately this is all brackish. Not very helpful. Centipede corpse. You can uh, remember in the top is right the, corner, you- Is the boar- or the same as the snout? Yeah, I, I believe that is uh, what a slug snout drops. What's attacking me? Uh, I think it's dead already. The segmented wor mirthworm is already dead. There's a hermit to your left. I think that was what maybe killed the slug snout. They are neutral. This is good. Generally, hermits are pretty neutral unless you attack them, and that goes for everything, actually. Uh, well, okay, N nothing is neutral, uh, not to make that kind of statement, but... That might be non-brackish oil to your left. <laughs> nice. Cool. Let's just um, have a quick look at that oil puddle. Uh, may I have just disturbed? Yeah, shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, see if you can collect that. I feel like I'm gonna drag this goop over to it, and then it will not be good. No, no as long as you don't stand in its puddle, or like in its tile, you should be okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I I know it looks bad, but I think you're still okay. Just um, hit interact with it. Collect liquid. There you go. One of your cells is actually, it actually runs on oil. Ooh. Found yourself a steel shield. Shields only grant their AP when you successfully block an attack. Engraved. This site has been engraved with a scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Oro Tafa. While leading a small army in the Granary district of Mimoir, Oro Tafa had his legitimacy challenged by a claimant over an ordinance, an ordinance mandating the practice of imposing one's will. He won and had the aspirant killed. He was 66 years old. Plus 55 reputation with the Oro Tafian church. Um, oh, nice. Oh, I don't know if we got any usable in, uh, information there. Um, carbide longsword, huh? Steel plate mail. Some interesting stuff here. That steel plate mail is actually better than what you're currently using for AV. Carbide longsword is debatably worth taking. Okay. Okay. I want to wear this. Yeah. 
we're getting to the kind of upper echelon of like heavy armor. Uh, at a certain point, armor gets so heavy that it's debatably worth taking because then your entire inventory is taken up by armor. But it's like for the extra AV, it is generally worth worth taking. Um, and your strength is good, so you've got a lot of carrying capacity. You can, I mean, you're not going to end up using that, but you could take it to sell. What about these boots? I think you have better. So not really worth taking. They're 15 pounds, which is a lot. And I don't think they sell for a lot. I think you're, ma you can check your magnetized boots, but I'm pretty sure they have two AV. No, only one. Okay, so they would be worth upgrading to. I know you, uh, if you want to know what the benefit of magnetized boots are, I believe they offer a bonus to not getting knocked over or knocked away. Um, but that's only if they're powered, question mark. The shield this... is quite good. Okay. Um, but here's the catch is your, um, your, your jackhammer is two handed. Mm. And unlike the buckler, the shield has to be wielded. Mm. So you could take it with the intention of using it later when you get a hammer that can replace the jackhammer. These are good gets, though. These are very good gets. Yeah, someone died. I'm taking all their stuff. You're up to AV9 now. Like, that's really good for uh, this early in the game. I realize uh, I'm probably, like, saying this early in the game a worrying amount. But, like, we haven't really gotten to anything super spicy yet. No, no. No, Superman. Okay, just blood. Just a lot of blood. There is another weapon near that way droid. That could be something. It's a steel butcher knife. And it's one pound. That is actually a dagger, so worth taking for the sell value. A butcher knife. A butcher knife, yeah. I get it. Get that one. Not the first, though. We'll want to turn on a setting uh, maybe after this recording that makes it so that when you get items, you even if there's only one item, it still shows you the list. It's a good option because it means you don't have to look at stuff like you. Treasure. Treasure. Ah, there's treasure in that their city that centipede uh, exploded that robot's red now yeah they're bloody okay he's not mad the only time uh the color of a creature really has much significant is if they're pink because that means they're legendary otherwise it's sh it generally means that they are uh covered in goo or something Another steel warhammer. I can take that glow sphere. Good, good trade fodder. Treasure. Treasure. More treasure. Oh, Ooh. there's that infiltrator. See if they're um. You can see if they're aggressive to you. Those worms? No, the thing to the left. Yeah, that. Neutral. So even though it was neutral to you, it still teleported you. Might have missed. I believe it does shoot its teleporting, like, offense. It might have, like, shot and missed and hit you instead. Got a lot of mirthworms. Mirthworms are really not a big deal at all. I'm just letting the robot. He's about to do something, the robot. Yeah, he did the he did his thing again. The only thing you want to not be when it comes to mirthworms is surrounded by them. It's really the only way they can be uh, of some concern. Come 
carbide long sword. We want them nugs. You can take all if you want. We're close enough to Great Gate that oh never mind. <laughs> now you are over and burned. Overburdened. Oh my god. Oof. I mean I dropped the studded leather armor. That's not really worth anything. You could also drop the chain mail if you want. So that's a good fifty five pounds you just got back. Treasure. This is uh, something I am often doing is like, what what could I drop? Not my crayons, they're important. Not your crowns. Crayons. Crayolas. I mean, you're good though. You got plenty of room now. All right. We can t continue checking this tile out, or I think uh, we're very close. You do have a staircase down. Oh God, another slug snout. Best, that's the best case scenario though. If if you find a slug snout at melee range, that is the best way to encounter a slug snout. Second best is actually the way you found the first one, which is not at melee range, but in a way that you can basically manipulate them into melee range. We have leveled up. Upstairs. Yeah, you already found the staircase down. Yeah, you know. Treasure. More treasure. And an infiltrator. God, spark ticks give such good XP for how easy they are to kill. Uh, Electrofugues are a little bit spicier. But that's okay. Yeah, they're they're gonna hit you hard initially and then never again, basically. Um copper nug. Alright. <laughs> I like the occasional smacking of walls as you roam around. Smack. Sometimes they're just in the way. Hate this wall. This wall sucks too. Smack. I'm like, what's that shirt? I dropped that shirt. That's my shirt. <laughs> All right, this should be the last screen, and we'll want to move north because um, there will be uh, an actual access point north, which is where Great Gate is. Oh, but first, a, a mountain of centipedes to kill. There just there do be a lot of things in Great Gate between you and the uh, actual city. Mm, nice. The crab also has an ability to stun, so it was kind of your stun versus their stun. You should be good to rest. Or negative four DV. Nice thing about DV is it really doesn't matter how much in the negatives you are. It's the same story. Um, you're saying I want to go north? Well, we haven't found the access point yet, but yeah, we're on this screen. We're we're hoping to find the access way north. And I think that's right, right there, basically, like right that above you. Hole in the red. Yeah, basically. Well, I'm mean, not, not that. It's like directly north. 
you'll see a little hole. You can head there now. Um, um, there's a bunch of stuff. That uh, that that uh, gorilla should be fine. Yeah, neutral. They're right. usually very good allies. They'll they'll beat things up for you. Oof, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Get them, boys. Ooh, getting thrashed about. We're doing fine. Slosh. Slorp. Oh. Don't fight the gorilla. No, they're, they're natural enemies. Oh, there's a slug snout to your right. I saw it for a brief second. You're actually... You were probably better off heading towards the wall. Okay, it's fighting a hermit. And a robot. And a robot. You got pretty lucky. Oh, an iron buckler. I think that is actually better than what you've got. Finding a lot of iron and steel. Yeah. Um you got very lucky. You didn't you didn't find a slumberling. That's a very common thing to to find on the way to Gritgate. And you also didn't see any like chain turrets. You've seen a regular turret, and regular turrets are actually pretty easy to kill. Um, but chain turrets are a, com a totally other problem. There you go. I have finished the step locate the Barathurum Enclave of the Quest Ascensor. <laughs> Not a canticle for Barathurum. Santicle. A canticle. A canticle. A canticle. More like can I go? Well, welcome to Gritgate. This is a place you will get to know pretty intimately. So you're uh, gonna you're gonna want to talk to um, or interact with that thing next to the laser field. The uh, little uh, it's an intercom. Voice transmitting through panel. Be gone, wayfarer. This is no place for you. Uh, Finally awake, complete... are you? I'm gonna. Wait, my name is Batman. I bring a message from our grave of Java. I have finished the steps. Speak with the Bathroom for the quest of Kahar Bathroom. I've done it. Did it. A slot opens from the center of the door and a metal tray slides out. I will do that. Several minutes pass. So it seems that you are indeed a. Uh, wait. So it seems you are indeed Argive's apprentice. He wishes you to study with us. Unfortunately, we require more than a willing spirit. Kud is not a Joppa. You will need to prove your worth that you might not waste our time and efforts. Travel to the great cavern Golgotha to the north. Within its halls you will find a cache of dysfunctional wageroids. Recover one, repair it, and return it here. If we are satisfied with your work, you will be admitted to our order. Otherwise, you will not be. Do you accept this arrangement? No, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, all right. It takes the disc. I have more than a willing spirit. All right, before we leave, talk to the intercom again. Okay. Have you completed the test? Not yet, but I require entrance to the city for the purposes of trade. Yeah. Enter then, traveler. So now I can go through the blue door. And we have access to a new shop. This guy, I assume. This guy, you assume correctly. It's Mafia. Ah, Mafia. Welcome to Gritgate, Delver. Care to enhance the quality of your stay with a wise purchase? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Um. <laughs> so one thing we are definitely going to want to buy before we leave is uh a, that small stone. I know it's a. Uh, I'm very much zeroing in on one of his most expensive things, but it is a very valuable thing. What? Where? No. Oh. Yowza. I believe we have enough. Um, options. I mean, first of all, let's. We could sell our magnetized boots. You could sell the me mechanical wings. I I like the wings a lot. You definitely want to sell your glow sphere. All right. 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 That. Uh, up to you I, mechanical wings are very that very would, good that would get me your your small stone i understand how it's good for running away but also it doesn't i mean i guess it works for bavad man but it, i mean it's it's kind of thematically perfect for batman let's uh you definitely want to sell like all your melee weapons Or like you halfway want to sell there. this stuff, or is this all important stuff? When you um, get like get start getting into tinkering, um, you'll be able to convert all of that into uh, usable resources. Um, right now, I mean, like you're unable to make use of some of your stuff because your jackhammer is takes up your back slot and two hands, so it's kind of a bummer. You could sell all your copper nugs. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, droid scrambler is important. E it kind of is, yeah. So we're good here. Should I sell this shield? I'm probably not going to use it. Um, you can. You're 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 bound to get another one when you need it. You could buy it, and uh, another thing you should buy is that we other weird artifact, the forty-seven dram one. I believe mm -hmm. I know what that is. Boots. Yeah, sell them boots. I guess that's it. You could sell the crayons. What? Uh, I'm just saying you could. Um, Ugh, buy crayons. You... It's important. I think you marked it as important, though. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fine. Um, uh, you can sell your shield. It is a lot of weight to carry when if you can't even use it. Um, all right. I only need one, right? You only need one. And you can buy the 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 other. Yeah. You could have a quick look through their other stuff. I I happen to know they probably have some good stuff. They do have a floating glow sphere, but you have night vision. It's Hard to care. They have an Isakari rifle. That's a good one. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, outside of that rifle, and it is a good one, but you can get one for free. Mm, you could buy some tube? more. Uh... Sorry, what? What's the tube? Tube? Oh, that's a another injector. You don't know what it does yet. Could be good. I, I might recommend buying some more arrows, yeah. You could buy some folded carbide arrows. Those are decent. There you go. And you could, like, buy all of those steel arrows, and it would, like, add almost nothing to this purchase. Perfect. There we go. There you go. Hit it. Maffeo will have to pony up 16 drams of fresh water to even up the trade. Yeah. Great. 
All right. We could we can maybe talk to him when we come back. Let's uh we'll we'll uh have a look at those artifacts and then um probably end the episode here. Yep. A great gate recoiler. Yep. So this will let you fast travel back here. And it comes with a chem cell. That's why it was all so expensive. Mm. That other thing is pretty good. I think you'll be happy with this. Oh, never mind. I thought you that lied. Was, I thought it was a chem cell. I'm sorry. A uh, thermal grenade is actually quite nice, but um, not not really what I thought it was. Still. I really want to charge up my um, jackhammer. Yeah. Uh, you could take the chem cell out of the um, grit gate recoiler, but then you won't have a grit gate recoiler. Okay. You will find more um, energy cells. We've been kind of unlucky in that we haven't been finding any. They're pretty common. Ain't that just the way? We've been lucky in other ways. All right, so um, our next mission is Golgotha, which is uh, kind of the make or break point uh, for a lot of players when it comes to Caves of Cud. It's it's like genuinely the first very spicy thing. Okay. Um, do you have any closing thoughts before we end? None. All right. None thoughts. I am an empty vessel of nothing. <laughs> no thoughts, head empty? Correct. All right. Uh, if you're jo enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.